Okay guys, let's do this. I'm not feeling it today for the gym. Got zero energy. Serious rain clouds coming in, guys. Blustery weather. Dangerous weather. People scattering like flies, like cockroaches. Which is a bummer for uh, Halloween. I mean, it's gonna rain and all those kids are gonna be out there getting candy. So we got something fun planned today. Um, had a good run at the gym, got three miles in. I actually ran like five miles an hour on the treadmill which is like the fastest I've been able to run so improvement always good okay we're home but we're now leaving to go do the awesome thing that I told you guys that we were gonna do today it is pouring out here hardcore pouring out here No! Can you guys see all the raindrops hitting the creek or the highway? It's just crazy. Insane amount of rain. Dad, are we where we need to be? No. Mom. Yes. Are we where we need to be? What do you mean? Are we where we need to be? Yes. Here. Jeez. Real talk, real talk segment. Uh, the past week, I've been busy with school. I spent, I stayed up one night until two in the morning trying to write or finish this English paper. And I finished it just before class started and then I walked into class and they said, oh, the paper's not due until next week. Which was very frustrating. But at least you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Um, another thing was I had work on or yesterday, um, and I went to a party at the dojo. I didn't record because there were a bunch of little kids there and their parents, and I didn't think it would be appropriate to record them and put them in my video for today because. I don't have their permission and they probably don't want their kids being on the internet. Um, also on Friday I went and saw a play with my mom and it was really good. My friend Nicole was in it and uh, it, was really, it was really good. It was all centered around the theme of love which I liked. Also I thought I'd do a quick story time because where we're going it's gonna take a while to get to um, 
but um, I just watched a video of John Oliver's that I thought was really funny, but it also reminded me of something that had happened in the past that I told my dad about. I was like, I have a bad birds list. A bad birds list is a list of all the birds in the world or certain birds in the world that I hate in particular. My friend Shane, uh, when I went over to his house when we were younger, uh, he hated blue jays because, and he would shoot the blue jays, or his dad and him would shoot at the blue jays. I don't think they'd ever kill him, maybe, but just to scare him away. Uh, but they would kick out baby robin's eggs out of the nest and make them just fall on the ground. I don't even know if they would eat the egg yolks or whatever, but it was just pure evil. Not only that, but blue jays have the most annoying cawing noise, so they're on the bad birds list. Second bird on the list, sort of battling for the top position, but um, at our old house in Grass Valley, I was riding our bike down to that uh, park where I have those serious talks in uh, some of the older vlogs, but uh, there was a rooster just out in the open, just at that park, and I was like, oh, there's a chicken. So I go up, and I ride my bike up to it, and it just charges at me, jumps up in the air, and it's just like flicking its claws, it's, it's talons at my face. Do the chickens have large talons? It actually got me, but yeah, and I fell off my bike because of it, it freaked me out. So I dropped my bike and I started running and the rooster just chases after me. Um, so I had to get back to my bike because the rooster was in between me and my bike so I could just ride away and go home. So I took off my shoe and I threw it at the rooster and the rooster just ran in the opposite direction. So then I had to run, grab my shoe, get the bike, but then the rooster came at me as I was grabbing my shoe. So I grabbed it really quick and then I was still being chased by the rooster. I was like, and I got on my bike and I ran back and I drove, or I rode my bike all the way home. Roosters on the bad birds list. What's one? Top of the bir bad birds list is emus. Emus are probably the most evil uh, creatures I've ever met. Uh, they have these menacing orange glowing eyes and they just look disgusting. Uh, my parents, when I was younger, we went to a, I think a humane society or like a animal shelter and out in the back, they had a bunch of uh, more exotic type animals and they had an emu in like this uh, caged, fenced, like dog pen kind of area. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And I, because I, I thought it was interesting, I've never seen an emu before. And I walk up to the fence and it tries to kill me. It just starts pecking, like pecking its beak through the holes, trying to like bite my finger off. So. So, it left an impression on me, so emus are on the top of the bad birds list. And that concludes uh, the bad birds list slash story time for today. The, the list may be added on to, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed story time. Um, how far do you think we are to the place we're trying to get to? 15? Yeah. Okay, 15 minutes and we're gonna have some fun. Here you go, Father. Two, please. Two? Oh, please. <sighs> you have a whole package of them? Yeah, we just get a little stitchy. <laughs>
August, and it does look like it was raining here. Is it still raining where we are, Chris? I mean, uh, Vance? I don't know, and my name isn't Vance. I mean, Austin. It's not Chris either. Austin. Did he text you back? My mom always does this. She gets my name wrong all the time. No, it's not. I don't know where to put it. It's, uh... Oh, it's right here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I even We're in Davis, and we're having lunch with my sister. Yeah, I But it's like, toilet paper's not cheap. No, I know that. It's really annoying. We go through about a roll a day. Yeah, like, literally, like, I. We're on the move. Uh, we're going to go get some dessert now. Mexican food was great. I don't know. Yeah. How's your cookie, Dad? Good. Okay. Um, we're done visiting my sister down in Davis. We're going home. Port of entry. A little cigar. Wow. I think Shane and I should do something for a YouTube video on top of this bridge. Like maybe cross I don't think the bridge. Get up there. Huh? You get arrested. You can get up there. Really? Sure. It's an actual train. Trains go through there, Austin. I know. So if you were walking on a new train cane, what would you do? Speak of the devil, it's Shane. Oh, I gotta get him in this video. Come on, Shane, slow down, slow down. Speak up, buddy, get him in the video. I, we were just talking about Shane, that was and we ran into him. What are the chances? Uh, also, my friend Jared was following him. I know it. He is, they both have very distinct cars. Hello. Sunset. It's beautiful. God here. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. The clouds make it even more spectacular. Yeah. Special moments like these. It's what makes me appreciate nature. Alright guys, um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I really appreciate you guys for watching it all the way until the end. I know today's been a really long video. Um, tomorrow is Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you guys. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain too much on you guys. Uh, let's see. November. November's uh, Tuesday. Starting Tuesday. Um, starting Tuesday, I will be doing No Shave November. No Shave November is an uh, event that goes around. I don't know if it's a worldwide event or it's just a U.S. kind of thing. But um, I guess you all you have to do is just you don't shave. But it's in support of like raising awareness for... Uh, cancer I think also 
raising money for cancer uh, research and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to be participating in that. Basically, it means I'm just not going to be shaving for the entire month of November. So don't freak out if you, next time you see me, I just have just haven't shaved and I just look scruffy. Um, it'll get progressively worse. So just bear with me. Um, let's see. I might vlog tomorrow on Halloween. We'll see. Um, I'm going to be busy with school. I just got to juggle things around. I might be able to make a vlog. We'll see. Hopefully I get trick-or-treaters. Uh, let's see. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I really appreciate you guys always sticking to the very end of the video or watching my videos, um, even at the least. Uh, it's I always put a lot of effort into making my videos and editing them and all that stuff. So... Thank you, 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 thank you. Um, and the vlog here, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.